Scott. What do you think of that guitar? You know, I love it, but I keep hitting the volume control and the, the volume's fluctuating up and down. I just can't control it. Man, what you mean is brake pads. Brake pads? My truck stops on a dime. Not those brake pads. These brake pads by the Dario. I'm trying to install these new brake pads on my truck here. I got some Diodario brake pads. I can't figure out how to use these things. I know there's instructions inside, but I just can't figure out how to use these new Diodario brake pads. Hey Scott, what are you doing? I'm reading the instructions on how to install those Diodario brake pads. We're gonna take a look at this guitar here in a second, and you're, you're not gonna air that, are you? Uh, no, nah, we won't, we'll cut it out. Okay, hey, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Well, as a guitar tech for Fender, I get a lot of questions about different things, about every guitar line, whether it's Fender, whether it's anything, really, and a lot of times guitar players come in here and they say they're playing their guitar a little aggressively, and they hit the volume knob and it's going up and down and they're just gonna nail that really perfect guitar solo and the volume knob shuts the guitar off. It is a little frustrating. Well, Diodario has come up with a solution for that. It's called the brake pad. Now the brake pad is a, is a little device, looks like a little low ring here, and how it works is you remove the, the volume control, you pop it on, you put the volume control back on and it gives a little bit of back pressure to the control knob so you can really set it in the perfect spot there without it getting accidentally hit and losing your volume control in the middle of that wonderful solo that you'll probably never do as good the second time. Anyways, these are the brake pads by Diodario. Fine little thing to try on your guitar. Works really good. Come on, get them at Concert Musical Supply here in Murfreesboro.